On the approach to the straight, Total Look is rejoined by Autumn Winter on the outside. Ridden along on the rail is Model Approach, then Ikarai Secret, racing onto the heels of the leaders, round the outside, versatile, then the Quiet Man and Crest of the Moon, racing to the final following and a half, and it's Autumn Winter who comes to the front from Total Look, Ikarai Secret running up on the inside, and then the Quiet Man who is coming home to good effect, the Red Cap, and Autumn Winter is picked off by both Ikarai Secret and the Quiet Man, and then Total Look, 100 yards to go, and it's the quiet man battling it out with a rallying well Ikarai Secret on the inside these two a link between them as they go to the line Ikarai Secret the winner from the quiet man Autumn Winter a little bit of a touch landed here would appear colors of Aiden, Aiden Ryan Aiden's got a nice one on his hands here in Ikarai Secre who's made a winning debut here Edward O'Grady and Shamie Heffernan teaming up with this Wooden Bassett cult everything seemed to be going according to plan for the favourite autumn winter ruby until home straight nativity square asked for more in the lead turns in a length and a half in front of bizarre dreams with quadruple making ground around the outside of wingspan as they hit the straight then it's only just begun and harbor jim next with revered a queen and then shania who's followed to the final filling and a half by you you bella gone from the front is nativity square and rory clearly with wingspan picking up the chase wide of them is harbor jim who's leaning in on top of quadruple and then shania nativity square challenged and headed one from the rail by Wingspan. Wingspan it goes on for Ryan Moore from Nativity Square. A scrap for the third. Wingspan is off the mark straight away at three. Second Nativity Square. Third goes to the judge. Well, she might have been light enough in the market and not as yet hold any fancy entries, but that could soon be about to change because Wingspan has made the perfect start to her racing career here. The daughter of Dubawi and Hydrangea, who is a jewel. Group one winner for the same connections. From my mate Alfie, who's made rapid headway on the inside, tracked in by Atlantic Coast, Bright Stripes pushed along, also written a Chicago critic, and then the Liffey, who's trying to pick up, and then Samuel Cold and relegated to be last as Battle Cry, and my mate Alfie has shot through on the rail, getting a second win and coming racing back through the field as Samuel Cold. Take me to church down the outside as Battle Cry. All change inside the final furlong. And sweeping from last as Battle Cry to join stable companion Samuel Cold leaving behind my maid Alfie and it's battle cry on the near side edging to the front close home battle cry returns on a winning note from Samuel Cole six clear of my maid Alfie it's battle cry from virtually last to first there for Aiden O'Brien Ryan Moore quick fire double for those two and uh, 10 to 1 goes in ahead of Samuel Colt, who was uh, better backed. Uh, my mate Alfie was third, uh, six lengths back for uh, Ger Lyons and uh, Colin Keane. Uh, so that. Kitty Rose, the leader from Green Finch, pushed up on the outside is Finch Gay Lewis, followed by a lilac roller, the yellow captain, Alpharetz. Windler makes ground on the outside, followed inside the two by Mysteries. Sweetest is next, being followed by Buttons, who's still well back, Money Dancer and Cherry Blossom, the final two. Racing towards the final furlong, and Kitty Rose is strongly challenged, one from the rail by a lilac roller, kicking away from Windler, then Green Finch and Alpharetz, and a lilac roller gets two on the inside, Kitty Rose. Racing inside the final 100 yards, and it's a lilac roller on the stand side, fractionally from Kitty Rose. A lilac roller, Kitty Rose, one, two, running on from way back was Buttons on the outside. A lilac roller maintains her beat record in the Bally Lynch Prouty Bell. She sure does, uh, just about for Paddy Toomey and Billy Lee. It's a hat trick for a lilac roller who has just got there ahead of Kitty Rose, who's ran an absolute cracker. Ruby really liked her in the ring. And Button staying on for third. More. And the Frates leaving behind a struggling ocean of dreams. Their heads turn at the two. Deep one and Dallas start on the inside who's back on terms in third place and making hard work of it is Illinois. And then the Euphrates gone a long way clear of ocean of dreams and it's Dallas Star who wrestles back the lead. The race outsider and opens up a couple of lengths advantage from the Euphrates. Deep one is good tired and then Illinois but it's Dallas Star and Shamie Heffernan extending that advantage to three to four lengths over 
over the Euphrates and then comes Illinois in deep one and up towards the finish. It's a big shock in the P.W. McGraw Memorial Belly Stack Stakes as Dallas Star wins for Shamie Heffernan and Adrian Murray. Second is the Euphrates, Illinois third. Huge upset in the Bally Sacks. Congratulations to Adrian Murray, to Shamie Heffernan, who's had a double on the day, landed the first for Edward O'Grady, and the big one here had a huge prize. 50 to 1, Dallas Star takes the Bally Sacks. and trotting as they hit the straight then Margillamar trying to stay on a surfer's paradise and then Gibbs Island Massoon Tamrath Senor Ferrari they're getting strung out as Sean T assumes command racing towards the final furlong it's Sean T opening up from on the inside Slaney Swagger who's in a fight for the second with surfer's paradise and in between those two is and trawling but out in front is Sean T and Ryan Moore home for all money inside the final half furlong Sean T out clear from Slaney Swagger and trawling and then surfer's paradise and at the finish, Sean T opens his account and handicap company in good style. Trebles for Ryan Moore, Aiden O'Brien second, Slaney Swagger and Thralling third, and fourth, the four surfers paradise. Winning favourite over at Leopardstown off a mark of 85. First success for Sean T. Three on the day for Aiden O'Brien and Ryan Moore sent off at seven to four. Racing TV Extra once again for reflection at Leopardstown with uh, Gary. And little Keady and Livio Milo. Turbulence after them with Morrison Belfoy as they pass the two. And Moonlit Mist is the leader. Goes on by a couple of lengths to Mowgli. Then come on the lads. Perfect Poise is trying to run on. Then Sir Jack Thomas Morse Turbulence. Seven C's on the outside. Livio Milo and then little Keely Kodiak Prince has dropped out tamely. And then Belfoy. It's a bunch up inside the final 200 yards and coming through. Two off the rail is Perfect Poise. Morse is coming home best of all. The green and white. Then come on the lads. It's perfect poise all out from Morse, who's inching up on the inside as they go to the line. Morse is up to it from perfect poise. Then Livio Mino, come on, the lads. Next on the inside, Sir Jack Thomas ahead of a fading Bodley. Tight, wasn't it? But it looks like it's Charles Wells and Mel McCullough who's got their Morse, uh, the winner, number eight in the green and white colours at 10 to 1, getting the better of perfect poise, who was up there, placed against such a consistent filly for Ger Lyons and to see me through and then Cook Cullen and six pack and tall story next followed by status green and then Skontanovsky inside the two and it's rocket wall continuing in the lead from super over coming on the outside and coming hard as speckle meadow then Roderick starting Monday and broad daylight next then spring collection followed by six pack and on the outside see me through with tall story and speckle meadow and Adam Caffrey have come to take them from Roderick starting Monday super over dropping away is rocket wall but it's speckle meadow the lead from Roderick and starting Monday her boat bedding down Speckle Meadow will make it from starting Monday and Roderick clear of see me through nice performance and well done to Don Brown and Adam Caffrey Speckled Meadow number 15 from stall 22 she has beaten starting Monday and in third place number 11 Roderick 11 to 2 join favorites going in uh, right guys and girls we're off to Exeter for the final